Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the attachments and issue linking within Jira. How you can work with the attachment or configuring the attachment details or changing the attachment detail and then also adding the linking of the issues within Jira. So first thing is attachment. So if you are the project, uh, if you are the Jira admin, go to the settings and you will have this system below Jira settings. You will get all of these options available here. So for attachments, you will need to go to the system and within system you have to go to the advanced section here and here you have the attachments section within attachment as a Jira admin you can update what attachment what is the limit of the size of the attachment so if, if for example at the moment it's 1024 MB if I go ahead and edit I can basically change that atta attachment size right so I have to provide it in the upload size limit in bytes and then enable zip support is something which you can turn on and off which means that if by default it is on so that means anyone can download all the attachments that are there within a particular issue as a zip format if you turn it off then that zip format or downloading all in the zip format won't be available right so i'll keep it default to on because that's a convenient option and that's how i think it should be there people should have flexibility to download all the attachment as zip file rather than downloading one by one right so these are the attachment options that a jira administrator can go ahead and configure now the next important bit i want to cover is about the issue linking so if you want to work with the issue linking within jira and i'll explain what exactly the issue linking will look like so if you go to the settings and go to the issues here you can configure figure the details about the issue linking so in the issues here in the left hand side if i go ahead and in the issue features you have this issue linking right so if i go to issue linking you will see basically what it means so within jira if you have a brief experience even in jira you would see that you can go ahead and when you are creating an issue you can create inward and outward linking of the issues right and that's the power of jira that if say for example i have a story within the story how many tasks are there right so that linking is established and those links of the issues you can basically track using the inward and outward description so you know basically what type of issue it is and what it does right for example you have a issue type as test within jira that is linked to a story right so you can say okay this is this issue type is test and the inward description is is tested by an outward description is you know tested by so something like that so for example let me quickly go ahead and say create one issue and i'll show, show you this linking right so for example this is story right and i created something you know some test story and let me show you basically the linking how it will appear so if i scroll down you will see linked issues right so for example i am creating this story okay so you'll see that linked issues this is inward and outward description that is basically configured that will be configuring here so you'll see that okay this story is relates to right so this relates to some epic okay or this story blocks something so this is where linking of the issues will really help okay so let me quickly create one okay so i'll say discard issue i don't want to create the issue you'll see that at the moment issue linking is on but overall jira admin can go ahead and completely deactivate issue linking so that means if you are trying to create a defect and want to link to the user story or to some other epic you won't be able to do that if this is at a root level disabled issue linking is disabled but if it is enabled by default it's on so you'll see all of these link types basically you know blocks cloners uh, duplicate relates to for example now you have the test issue type you have some test management plugin within jira for example x-ray so i can say i want to create a test link right and the outward description i'll say is tested by so whenever i create a issue type as test i'll say you know this test case test this particular story right so i'll say outward description is tested by okay and inward is tests okay or uh, i think outward is tests and inward will be is tested by okay so you'll see that is duplicated by duplicates right so i'll say outward description tests and the name is test and inward description is tested by and if i'll say go ahead and add then this particular linking or link name will be added here right so test tests is tested by all right and you can edit and delete it as a jira admin and you can add any number of 
link types in here from this particular page now whenever you have created whenever this core functionality or the root functionality of issue linking is enabled then person say for example i am creating a new issue and let me create something else not so i'll say okay let's assume this is let's assume this task as a test case okay it's a test then person is creating this particular test okay so i'll say in the summary i'll say test case one a tester is creating this particular test then in the linking now within here in the linked issues i should be able to see the tests right so linked issues i'll say this particular issue that i am creating this particular test case that i am creating tests right so it tests what particular user story tests you can then go ahead and select a user story if you know there is a user story already available at the moment there is no user story but let me quickly go ahead and create a user story first so you get all the concept very clear i'll say user story one and let me create okay so you'll see that one issue has been created now let me create a test case and then use the link tests to link to that particular issue so i'll choose the task as of now and i'll say this is my test case one okay and then this test case tests the user story right so this particular user story you can then go ahead and select and then the link will get created against this particular user story so if i go ahead and go to this particular issue which is of type task then the link should be there so you'll see this is the task right and then here you will see that this particular issue now has the link which says tests this particular user story and if, and if i'll go to this particular user story then you will see that this user story is tested by this particular task right so that's the benefit of having the linking of issues within jira it's very beneficial very helpful in understanding how the linking is what exactly is testing what what is blocking what and that is where the linking becomes really really helpful within jira and how as a jira administrator you can go ahead and enable issue linking or completely disable it by default it's enabled you can completely disable it enable it and then add more links within jira okay so for issue linking in the settings issues and in the issues you simply have to go to the bottom here and then go to the issue features below there you'll get issue linking and you can create issue linking altogether or the links within here okay so that's all for this video on attachments and issue linking within jira i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you